truck in the parking lot. I've got bedhead. Actually, it looks more like truckhead. And I look like Jimmy Neutron on top. Do you remember uh, Jimmy Neutron's hair? Jimmy Neutron's hair. This is what it kind of looks like, right? So again, here's some advice I've given you kids the last, oh, two years or so, two and a half years. When you are 17, you're concerned with what people think of you. Uh, when you get to be 27, um, you re you're really not concerned with what people think of you. Um, and then when you're 52, you realize, oh my gosh, no one was really ever thinking about me. Not that they were mean or anything, but they just had their own things going on. So that's that. Okay, so let's talk about today um, how I keep track of points and what your points look like for today and what we're doing today. All right, so everything is in Google Classroom. Okay, so we'll open that up. We're in 812. And we're down here. And so we go to Classwork. What do I check first? The very first thing I check is quarantine videos. And this is pretty cool because all I have to do is click on a video and I go into Edpuzzle and then I check my grade book and I can see who watched it and what they answered and what they didn't answer. Okay. So let's say Berglund watched this one. He watched quarantine video number one. I can just click on it. I can see all the questions he got right and what he got wrong. And the ones he got wrong, if I think it's important, I'll go back through and I'll try to help him uh, understand what he didn't get wrong. So, for example, Andrew, I said, what note is two half steps past B flat? He answered D, answer was C, and then I answered to him, A, B, Berglund, count half steps, not whole steps. So maybe that'll help him. That way I can give him the full 15 points every time. So whatever grade I see on there, I'm not too concerned about. Okay. He answered this. He said, what is the scale pattern for a major chord? It's root, he, um, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. He answered root, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And I answered to him, that's the key for minor scales. We'll do that later. Okay, so now I can give him the full 15 points. So if you watch the videos, if you do the questions to the best of your ability, you're going to get the full 15 points regardless of what it says on there. Sound good? So if I look back at the grade book, uh, Kiana had a 60% watching this one. That wasn't her fault. Okay. I put on some like dumb questions. Like who's in the background of the video? It, did I put, uh, was it Sydney, Sophie, Eric, Jenna, or Sasquatch? She put Eric because it was. But I put two correct answers. So you had to answer both of them. So I just put cool. You know, because this doesn't count against her. Okay. Look at this one. Again, another question. Uh, I have to figure out. It says, how did you find B? And every answer is A comes right before C. That's kind of like a little joke. But then you had to answer all three of them. Well, you don't have to. But I understand that she gets it. Okay. So, make sense? So don't worry about the grade on Edpuzzle. Just I'll put up your points on um, our spreadsheet. Next, after I do this, I go down and I check musictheory.net. And then what I look at is, okay, did you send me any codes? Okay. If you uh, haven't sent me, if I don't see any codes, then I go into here and I look for class comments. I see Jazz and John and Andrew and Destiny sent me a bunch of stuff. So then I enter those. And then if I don't see anything on there, I'll go into the instructions on that assignment. Okay. And then I'll look here, like Lucas sent one here. And then I see Landon sent three here. So I have three ways I can find assignments on musictheory.net. Doesn't matter how you send it to me, uh, I will find it. So then the next thing I look at after I look at Ed Puzzle and Music Theory, and again, here are your Music Theory assignments. And week one is in black, and then this week right now is in red. So, so far this week, Micah checked off two and Jazzy checked off one. Okay. So after I do Ed Puzzle and after I do Music Theory, 
then I will go to uh, open up your weekly spreadsheet and then I'll add in your smart music. So smart music this week looks like this. I'll log in. Bum, bum, bum. I'll make this a little bit bigger. I'll look at 812. And you guys are doing such a good job that I have to start adding more assignments in here. But I'll keep windows open so you have uh, longer time to work on them. But you're really doing a good job. Now, some people might feel a little bit like, uh, well, what about me? Because I'm not getting a lot of smart music done. I'm doing something else. Great. Like you might be doing something else. And that's what we're trying to do is we're saying find something that you really like and something that will motivate you to learn and love music. And maybe it's smart music and maybe it's music theory and maybe it's more instruments and maybe it's something else. But we're going to try to find that for you. Sound good? Okay. So then I take all of those points from smart music and I drop them in your spreadsheet and then I add up your extra credit and then I add up your week one two three four to your week five and that's where we're at so I'm gonna go into here to um, the next two things I'm going to daily slides this is today's slide for class it looks like this that's what we did in art this is what we are doing right now okay you can do smart music five points each you can do music theory five points each you can do a video for 15 extra credit email me if you want a song from uh, smart music and I'll send it to you and then you have your daily bonus daily bonus today is what is one saying that you use too much one saying that you use too much uh, for me probably smell you later um, and now that's those are the uh, sayings that I use probably too much uh, these are people that sent in things yesterday, so we have to roll for them today. I asked you, what is your most ordinary, boring trait? John's, I have white teeth. Matthew has feet. Raquel is organized. Jasmine, 16. Micah likes basketball. Okay. So let's go back into here, and now we'll go through your grades. At 151. 151 points from last week, zero this week. Peyton, and then at 170 from last week, zero this week, Lucas. And then at 137 from last week, 35 for this week, for a 172. That's a big jump, Kira. And Kira's at home and, and is figuring stuff out, and good for you. 174 last week, five this week, Maxi Boy. 205 last week, zero this week, Peyton. And then 214 from last week, plus another 15 this week, is uh, Micah. And Micah said that uh, his ordinary trait is he's, he likes basketball, so we have to roll for him today. So we'll roll the 3D die roller. And Micah, if we roll a 1, 2, or 3, it's 10 points. If we roll a 4 or a 5, it's 20. And if we roll a 6, that's 30. So you just picked up, boom, you just picked up 10 points. So we'll add that right in here. So now you're at 25. Oh, no, where did you go? Now you're at 25. And now you're at 239. Okay. 235 last week plus a 10 this week is 245. Lucas, 251 last week plus an additional 10 this week, 261. Bender, 243 last week, an additional 30 this week is Raquel, who told us that her most boring trait is that she is organized. Raquel, 1, 2, or 3, 10, 4, 5, 20. 630 your throw is a oh six that's an extra 30 for you so we'll enter that in here so now you're at 60 and now you just jumped up to a 303 mr johnson's good at math 292 last week 15 this week 307 kiana 296 and a half plus 15 11 and a half andrew and then 297 and a half plus 20 
317 is jazzy. Ooh, her tra her most boring fact, she said she is 16. Jazzy, you just rolled a three. That's 10 extra points. So you go up to 30, which puts you at 327. Nope. Hey, pal. 369 and a half plus 10 is 379 and a half. After Wyatt, 348 and a half plus 40. Taven Jones, 388. And then after Taven is 354 and a half plus 35 is a 389. You guys are adding a ton of points. Is Destiny. This is interesting. Destiny, you're at 389, right? Right now. The next person is at 390. Who could it be, Destiny? Who could it be? Who could be one point away from you, Destiny? It is, yes, it's Paige. 365 plus a 25 is 390. And then we have 416 plus a 20 is a 436. This person told me that his most boring trait is that he has feet. He has feet. So we are going to roll for this guy right here. And he's at a 2 for 10 extra points. 30. After Matthew, 381 plus 70 points in a week. This was Joshua. 405 plus 90 is 495. Maddie, that's a ton of points. And then 434 plus a 70 is 504. And John's ordinary trait is he said that he has white teeth. Rolling for John. Ooh, John, 30. Snap. So, John, that's another 30. So, that's 100. And now you are at 5. 34. John, does that take you over the top? I don't know. Let's see who could be in front of you. This person had 435 and added 140 this week, and that is Dez. All right? So that's where we're at right now. What am I going to do? You're going to get to work. You're going to work on something you want to work on. You can work on music theory. You can work on smart music, or you can work on uh, the videos. I'm going to add another video. The two videos are how to make scales now i'm going to take those scale videos and teach you how to make chords so that's cool and then the next thing i'm going to show you or i'm going to add on is going to be more smart music assignments sound good so your question today um what is the one saying that you use too much if you let me know what that is we're going to roll for you tomorrow and until then i will smell you later